Well, hello everybody. So today we're going to talk about how to use the um, book creator in Blurb and the program that we're going to use is InDesign. And so first of all, we have to go to www.blurb.com and under that area, you will need to create a, um, a login. Now I already have a login created so I am not going to go through that step. I'm assuming that all of you know how to make your own login. Um, and so you will create um, a um, account. It's free. And then once your uh, account is created, you're going to go to the area that says design tools. Now I've already done this step, so I'm going to walk you through it. And then I'm going to show you what it's going to look like in InDesign. And so there's different ways that you can create books on this book creator. There's book write, PDF to book, Adobe Design, um, InDesign, Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop, and iOS app. We are going to use, let's go back over here, we're going to use the Adobe InDesign. And when we go to Adobe InDesign, the first thing it's going to ask you is, after you've logged in, of course, you're going to go to download the Adobe InDesign plugin. And here it's going to tell me, um, it, it automatically recognizes what kind of computer I'm using. So it says download plugin and notice underneath it says not on a Mac. So if you are not on a Mac, you should go to that and it'll bring you the download plugin for the PC. If you're not using Adobe InDesign, it will also give you some other things. Notice that it says here Mac OS X 10.12. So that is the OSX you need to be on or above. Now we're going to go to download the plugin. Now this is really an important part. So we're just going to lo uh, load the plugin right onto your desktop and then you can delete it after you're done. So if I hit save, I already have one on here. I'm just going to say replace and it's going to download that plugin. And we can see that in my browser, I can see my download happening, right? And once I get it downloaded, it's going to give me some directions. And so it tells me right here, locate the file and then open the installer and then launch Adobe InDesign and look at the bottom of the InDesign file menu. And there we should see Blurb Book Creator. So now I'm done. So I'm going to click here and there it shows me. So I've done it twice here because I just recently uploaded it. And then I would double click. And it would um, say, can I see what kind of Adobe product you have? So it wants to know, you know, if you are necessary, if you can actually download this. So it's looking for things. So if I say continue, there's Blurb software licensing. Obviously, I'm going to continue on that. I'm going to agree to the software licensing. And then it's going to ask me for a version. And this is the important part. So you have to do the 2022 version which is 17.4 on the Adobe InDesign. So 2022, 17.4. If you go to other, it's going to give you from 2019, 2020, 2021. Now you all should have a brand new version or versions of um, InDesign. So at this point, I'm, I've already downloaded it. If I say 2022, I can go continue. And then it says, before you install, you must quit Adobe InDesign. Now, I already have it on here, so I'm not going to install it again, but that would be your steps. So let's go ahead and get out of here, and let's look at, um, at the top of your menu bar. You'll notice that you have this little Adobe Creative Cloud. And if it's not here, it can be also in your dock. I don't keep mine in my dock, but if you do have it in your dock, it's got the same kind of symbol. And the symbol is uh, multicolored like a rainbow. So when I click on that, it gives me all my information. So if I go to apps, it shows me here what apps I actually have installed right here. So I am looking at, I have my Photoshop and it gives me my version number, 23.51. Illustrator, I need to update those. So notice how it says update available. Now, I have two versions of InDesign. The version that you're going to need to use the Blur Book Creator is this one, 17.4. And if you don't have it, when you go, you can go over here and you can go to other versions. So if you only have the 18.01, which is 
which I have here. I can go over here and go to other versions and then it says which one do you want and then I already have this installed 17.4 so notice that the um, it's telling me uninstall but I don't have to do that I want to keep that one right now so what's interesting about this and important to understand is that you are able to have multiple versions depending on which plugin that you're using so in this case we're going to be using 17.4 so I'm going to go to open and there it is it's already opened for me and it shows me a lot of the things I've done in the past but that's not what I'm going to be using today I'm going to be using this blurb book creator so remember when we were in blurb it said you need to go to file and there I am in file and I'm going to go to blurb book creator and I'm going to click on that and this is the steps that you're going to do to create a new book so I'm just going to delete the book that's in there and start over so this is what you should look like right like this so I'll say create new book and now notice that all of these are allowable for you to write in so for now I would just call this test uh, fall 2022 and I don't necessarily I'm not going to put the author in because honestly that's for a thicker book and the author name will then go on the on the spine of the book this is a comic book so there's no place for that then we're going to go to choose a book size well the only one we're going to use is the magazine so that's eight and a half by eleven so this is very important that you don't go to a different size you're going to go to eight and a half by eleven and then you're going to choose your paper type economy is amazing don't pay more and then you're going to choose a cover type and we're going to have only one option and that's our soft cover perfect bound and then we need to know our number of pages and required number of pages for this project is 24. okay and now it's asking create a, ta a pages template now this is the template that you are going to be using every single time that you work in InDesign and notice that on the bottom here it tells us the price of the book for one book is four dollars and 25 cents so it's very economical and that's why we use it and they do really good quality so we're going to say create pages template and when i do that it wants to save it right away so this is where you're going to go into documents you're going to create a new folder and you're going to call it blurb indesign pages or book okay you can call it comic book we'll go we'll for just sake of we'll call it comic book and we're going to create that and now we're going to make another folder and we're going to call this one blurb comic book pages so these are the inside pages only we aren't going to do anything with the cover just yet we just want to stay with this blurb comic book pages and we're going to hit save and now it should start to open it up and there it is so there's a whole bunch of, and now it wants us to go and make the cover see that but we're not going to make the cover right now we can do that later so we're going to turn this off and we're going to talk about what we see so what we have here is some guidelines that blurb puts in for us and they're awesome so first of all we see it tells us that the red line anything beyond this red line is going to get cut off so that's the bleed line so anything beyond that will get cut off. The black line is the trim of the page. So that's how big our actual page is going to be. And the magenta is the art boundary. So, you know, this is where we know it's safe to put type. So anything that has type in it, it's safe to put it there. Now you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of words and this gray. This will not be printed in your book. This is on a separate layer that they remove when they actually print the book. So don't worry about that. It's also showing us on every single page. So if I go to pages here, let me just go back up to window and open up pages. So if I go to pages, I can rip it off just like I did with Illustrator. And there's all my pages all in a row. And then notice that it also has my toolbar. So it's very much like Illustrator um, in terms of where things are. Notice that we have our workspace and we're going to go to Essentials class.